I'm Gavin Hurley from Pro Angler and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. Today we're in magnificent New Zealand on the west coast on one of my favourite streams. I just love these waterways, they're so clear and you've got bush, natural bush, right down to the river. Some amazing fish in here, they're pretty hard to see um, but they're going to be pretty big once we get hold of them. So uh, we're going to try with uh, both nymphs and dries and hopefully we can pick up a couple. Uh, in this fabulous waterway. So uh, sit back and relax and I just hope you enjoy what New Zealand has to offer. The clarity of the water here can be deceptive and fish can often be feeding deeper than they appear. And given their tendency to feed selectively over a limited area, it is important to get the fly right in front of the fish. We've just got a fish up here and he seems to be feeding. Uh, and I've had a few good casts over it. I've probably got uh, a dropper, it's probably six or seven feet down to the first nymph. Quite often it just doesn't get down. So what I need to do is with our um, indicator, is slide that up the leader. So that'll give it a lot more depth and put that fly in his zone. And with a bit of luck, that'll make the difference. Yep, yep. Oh. That's what it's about. We got him to take, that's probably very important. Uh, and that's sometimes all you need to do is just alter things a little bit and it can have the, the uh, desired effect. So uh, with a bit of luck, we'll find his mate just up here. Quite a big fish up there, and he just hasn't taken. So what we'll do is move that indicator back up again, so that it allows the flies to get down a little bit more in his feeding zone. So uh, we'll give that a go. Hopefully, that might do the trick. The nature of fishing here can be unforgiving, and with each successive cast at a fish, your chances of hooking it tend to decrease as the fish become more alert to surface disturbance caused by fly line or leader, or simply the repeated presentation of flies. Whilst a trout may not overtly spook by heading for cover, pay attention to any change in their behaviour that may indicate a heightened caution or wariness. It's at these times that it can be a better option to move on and find another fish. Quite an interesting place, even when you're travelling around and not catching any fish. Uh, you come across things like this. It's obviously like a, a big uh, mining um, area, you know, for gold and um, coal and, and that sort of stuff. And you see a lot of this equipment just been left here many, many years ago that's sort of rusting back into the, uh, the countryside. But something interesting that you come across when you're out here fly fishing.
as you can see down there we've got an absolute thumper that we've been able to see from this high ledge so what we're going to do once we know where he is i've got to go back downstream cross to the other side and see if i can't put a nymph in front of him there because he seems to be feeding quite well so uh, we'll just go with a small nymph probably in a 16 to 18 uh, and put that in front of him and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get him to take it Due to the currents between Gavin's initial casting position and the fish, he struggles to present the fly correctly, and he alters his casting angle to achieve a better drift. <laughs> 